and one million. Hi, super strong readers and writers. Today, I'm making my arms a little bit stronger, but now I'm so excited to work with you on making our ears stronger. We've learned how to work out our ears and listen for the first sound in a word and the middle sound in a word and the last sound in a word. Like how in the word k, a, t. The first sound is k. The middle sound is a. And the last sound is t. When we say it all together, it makes the word cat. We can read words like robots, like this, k, a, t. To hear all of the sounds, we can use our arm like this, k, a, t. Or we could even count the sounds like this. K, a, t. But really great and really strong readers and writers always try to work their ear muscles to hear the first sound, the middle sound, and the last sound in a word. When you get really strong, you can hear the middle sound in all of the words. And we can use the vowel that we hear in the middle to read and write tons of other words. Today, we are really gonna zoom in on our vowels. Go ahead and name the vowels with me. A, E, I, O, U. Now let's say the sounds that those vowels make. Ready? Turn on your ear muscles. Okay. Ah, eh, I, ah. Uh. Let's do it again. This time, let's say the sound and the picture. Sometimes that helps me. When I'm not sure what sound a letter makes, I look at my alphabet chart, and I look at the picture, and I look for the first sound that I hear in that picture. Let's try that. A, A, apple. E, E, egg. I, I, igloo. O, A, octopus. U, uh, umbrella. Those are some of the sounds that we're gonna hear in the middle of some words that we'll be reading and writing today. Let's look at some pictures that have the middle sound, ah, that A makes, like apple, or the middle sound, I, that I makes, like igloo. When we look at these pictures, we can say the word out loud and listen for all of the sounds. The first sound, the middle sound, and the last sound. We're gonna figure out what the middle sound is in each of these words. We could try it a few ways. First, let's try it by reading them like robots. Let's look at the first picture. Pig. Hmm, it's hard to hear what the middle sound is in pig. Is it a ah or i? Let's read it like a robot so we can use our ear muscles to hear. P, i, g. I heard I in the middle of pig, like igloo. Pig goes under the I that says I. Let's try another one. Wag. Turn on your ear muscles. Let's read it like a robot. W, A, G. Does wag have an A in the middle or an I sound in the middle? A, W, A, G has A in the middle that A makes. Let's try a few more. Tag. Let's try reading it like a robot so that we can use our ear muscles to hear the first sound, the middle sound, and the last sound. T, A, G. Did we hear A in the middle of tag or I in the middle of tag? Let's do it again to really hear. T, A, G. I heard A. That's the sound that A makes. Wag and tag both say ah, like apple. Let's try another. This is the word dig. Let's try reading it on our arm to hear all of the sounds. D, I, G. I heard the first sound up here, D. I heard the last sound way down here, G. But what was the middle sound? Turn your ear muscles on. Let's figure out if the middle sound is a ah or i. Ready? Try it with me. D, I, G. 
What did we hear right here in the middle? Let's try it again. D, I, G. I heard I in the middle, just like pig. That's the sound that I makes. Dig has an I in the middle that says I. Let's try one more. Twig. Let's listen for the sounds. T, W, I, G. Did we hear an ah or I in twig? I heard an I like in pig and stick. Twig has an I in the middle. If it had ah in the middle, it would say twag. Is twag a real word? No, it's twig. It says I that the letter I makes. Let's read the words that our ear muscles worked hard to hear the middle sounds of. A says ah like in the middle of wag and tag. I says i like in the middle of pig and dig and stick. Today I want to teach you that writers make mistakes, but writers fix mistakes. Strong readers and writers go back and look at the words they wrote Listen for all of the sounds and think, hmm, is that the letter that matches that sound? And if it's not, you can erase and fix it. I'm going to write a word. I'm going to listen for all of the sounds in the word and write down what I hear. I want you to give me a thumbs up if you think what I write is correct. Give me a thumbs down if you think it's wrong. First, I'm going to write the word cat. I'm going to listen for all of the sounds and write a letter for each sound. If I need help figuring out what sound a letter makes, I can look at my alphabet chart. I'm going to remember that every word has a vowel. So if my word doesn't have one of these letters, I need to go back and add it. I'm going to write the word cat. K. Ah. T. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I wrote. If it says cat, give me a thumbs up. If it doesn't say cat, give me a thumbs down. If you're not sure, give me a sideways thumb. Does this say cat? Let's see. K. I. T. Kit. This says kit. I use the vowel I that says I. That's not right. This needs to say cat. What could I change the I to to say cat? Which vowel says ah? Ah like apple. A. I need to add an A instead of an I. I'm going to squeeze a little A in. Great writers sometimes have to go back and squeeze letters. I squeezed in an A. Now it says k at. Now it says cat. I'm going to write the word pig. Give me a thumbs up if this says pig. If you're not sure, let's read the sounds. P, I, G. Pig, it does say pig. I used the correct vowel. I use the vowel that says I in pig. Let's try another. I'm thinking of the word bat. B, A, T, B, A, T. Does this say bat? Let's read the sounds to check. B, A, T, bat. This says bat. How can I make it say bat? I need to change the a eh sound to an a ah sound. Which vowel says a? Ah? A like apple. Let's see if it says bat now. B, a, t, bat. Thank you, wonderful readers and writers. You helped me fix my own writing. When I went to write bat, I heard the sounds wrong and I accidentally wrote bat. 
but when I went back and looked at it, I changed the vowel so that it's correct. Now it says bat. Sometimes great writers and readers have to go back and fix their work so that it matches the sounds. Remember that strong readers and writers use their ear muscles to listen for all of the sounds in a word before they write it. You can use different tricks, like if you wanted to write the word cat, you could listen for all of the sounds by talking like a robot. K, A, T. I heard the first sound, K, the middle sound, A, and the last sound, T. You could use your arm to stretch words like dog, D, A, G. Or you could count the sounds that you hear, like if you wanted to hear the sounds in map, Mm, ah, p. But strong readers and writers listen for the beginning, middle, and end sounds in every word they write. And if you go back and look at your work and it doesn't look right, use your eraser and fix your writing. It's time for Fast Phonics. Today, the letter that we're going to be talking about is K. K makes the K sound, like we hear at the beginning of words like koala, or kid, or kangaroo, or kite. Also, like we hear at the end of words like bake, cake, and rake. K makes the K sound. I'll say the K sound, and then you say it. K. Let's do it again. K. Good work. K makes the k sound, so I'm going to write an uppercase K and a lowercase k. Uppercase K is tall. Uppercase letters are always tall. So I'm going to make a tall uppercase K. Start at the top, I go down, back to the top, in and out, uppercase K. Lowercase K is also tall. It looks kind of similar. We start at the top and go down, but then we go to the dotted line and go in and out. Uppercase K is tall, lowercase K is tall, but this line only goes to the dotted line. Mabel and I know that your ear muscles have been working very hard. We just have a little bit more of a workout to do today and then we are all done working our ears. We have two new sight words this week. Was and she. This is really exciting because the more sight words we learn, the more words we know in a snap that we can read and write whenever we want to. This is the word was. Read it with me. Was. Spell it with me. W-A-S. Let's whisper, spell it. W-A-S. Let's shout it if no one in your house is asleep. W-A-S. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it like a cowboy. Get your lasso ready. W-A-S. Was. This is the word was. I'm going to write the word was. Small w, small a, small s. Small letters always stay below the dotted line. We use the word was in sentences like she was listening. I was sleeping last night. Mabel was in her bed before this lesson started. Was is a word that we use when we're talking about something that already happened. This is the word she. Last week we learned he when we're talking about boys or men. This is the word she when we're talking about girls or women. Read the word with me. She. Let's spell it together. S H. E, she, let's whisper, spell it, S-H-E, she, let's spell it like a sad baby, ready, S-H-E, she, let's try it one more time, let's try it like a rock star, get your guitar ready, S-H-E, she, I'm going to write the word she on the lines. Small s, tall h, small e, 
She, my small letters stay below the dotted line and my tall letters go all the way up to the top tall line. We use the word she in sentences like she is teaching, she is listening. Today we learned that writers make mistakes, but we can use our ear muscles to listen for the beginning, middle, and end sounds of words. Then we can go back and fix our writing. If we're not sure what sound a letter makes, we can use our alphabet chart or ask someone for help. 